In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Garmin Approach S20 watch to the Bushnell XL and also to the TomTom Golfer 2 and talking about which one is best and worth picking up. So what we're going to be covering in this video are what the XL does, the TomTom added features, and then the S20 added features, which one's going to be best for you and also the best place to pick them up. So I will just mention our gear giveaway. If you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment giveaway down below do those three things and it'll be automatically entered okay so let's start with the Bushnell XL so this is a watch that came out in 2017 it's currently priced around $140 and it does come loaded with over 36,000 courses in 36 different countries it's going to show you the distance to the front middle and back of the green and has the option to input four hazard distances per hole it's going to tell you how far you've hit each shot it does come with an app to store all your data and then give you an overview on some of your stats, like where your common misses are um, and all that kind of stuff. So it is pretty cool. Um, but who is the XL for? Um, but our opinion, the Bushnell XL is not the best option and that's why we can't really recommend it or we wouldn't feel comfortable recommending it. It's not bad, but there are definitely things we didn't like about it and others are much better in our opinions. The battery life only lasted us about two rounds. It does feel a little bit cheap um, the display is really dim and hard to read and then the watch does take uh, too long in our opinion to locate the course you're on all right so that's the XL um, let's cover the TomTom Tom 2 so this is a watch that came out a couple years ago and is currently priced around $200 it does come loaded with over 40,000 courses from around the world and it's going to show you the distance to the front middle and back of the green it's a fairly basic watch um, since it did come out a while ago and I wasn't the biggest fan of the way it fit um, it's just me personally, I'm not saying it doesn't fit good or it's uncomfortable, uh, but just in my opinion, um, it wasn't the most comfortable. Um, but you're going to be able to see how far you've hit each shot, and it's also going to record all that information in the app. So who is the TomTom Tom for? Um, but long story short, the TomTom Tom 2 is currently unavailable for some reason, so I can't really recommend it. Um, even if it were available, I probably wouldn't recommend it because there are better options on the market that are cheaper. Um, I did like it more than the Bushnell XL. Uh, but not as much as the Garmin Approach S20, which we're going to talk about now. Okay, so the S20 is one of the entry-level golf GPS units from Garmin, and it is currently priced at around $140. It comes loaded with over 40,000 courses around the world, and it's going to show you the distance to the front, middle, and back of the green, as well as the distance to hazards and dog legs. It's probably the most comfortable watch in this price range, and it's going to record fairways hit, um, and greens and regulation as well which is kind of a cool stat to know but who is the s24 so in our opinion the s20 is the best entry-level golf watch and i would highly recommend it it's not super advanced or anything like that but it is well built um, it's as accurate as any and it's not going to break the bank it has a lot of cool features that most don't have such as like activity tracking um, there's like golf stats in there and it is compatible with Garmin true swing which is something you can put onto the club to track your stats um, like tempo, club speed, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's just talk about pros and cons of getting a device like this. So knowing the rough distance to the green hazards and dog legs can really help lower scores. And then knowing your common misses and how far you hit each club is also super important to know. And these devices are gonna help you know pretty much all of that. Cons, um, they are fairly basic golf watches and don't have you know, as many features as others. They aren't 100% accurate all the time. Um, but they're normally within about four to five yards of the course markers, um, which is pretty standard across you know, GPS units, and I was completely fine with that. But let's talk about some frequently asked questions. So do these watches also tell time? Um, yes, they do. How long does the battery last? Um, the Garmin S20 is about three rounds, um, which is pretty much better than most in this price range. Um, the Garmin S20 or the Garmin S10, um, we prefer the S20 because it does have more features, and it really isn't that much more money. Okay, so are these devices worth it? Um, we definitely recommend picking up some sort of yardage finder, whether it's a watch, um, you know, a handheld unit, or a laser. Um, they're just really gonna help, and they're really, really useful. Um, but just knowing the distance has really helped my game. Since I didn't really know before, you know, getting something like this, I was kind of always, um, you know, kind of always guessing, and I'd always end up, you know, either short or long. And, um, you know, getting something like this really helped me dial in my distance, and I hit more greens. Um, but that being said, we wouldn't recommend the XL or the TomTom, 
but the Garmin Approach S20 is one of our favorite entry-level golf GPS units. But if you would like to see more images or reviews of any of the mentioned products, or you want to get any of them for the lowest price available, click the link in the description down below. At the time of the video, that was the best place I could find it, so you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And that's going to be it for the video, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.